Alrighty, I want to talk real quick about vertebral compression fractures and how to identify them on MRI. So we have this patient here, had a fall right onto the bottom, on her bottom from the seated position, and she had severe lower back pain. So we got the x-ray, which showed a possible compression fracture here. So we have L5, L4, L3, L2, and L1. Now, what do we have to decide? Usually with the story, we realize that the compression fracture likely happened with the fall, but now we need to know if that compression fracture really did. Is it healed or is it old? So we need to get an MRI. And the best thing to look at on your MRI picturing is the stir imaging. That shows us edema, shows us that inflammation. And we once again, we'll count from the bottom, L5, L4, L3, L2, L1, and we have that L1 compression fracture there. And how do we know it's new or at least not healed is see that white or the inflammation in the bone, that's what's telling us that compression fracture is active, is causing a lot of the patient's pain. What do we do for this? We brace them immediately after we see the broken bone so that it doesn't get worse, and we set them up for what's called the kyphoplasty, where we put a balloon in, give them back some of that height to restore some of their alignment, and then put some bone cement in in order to fix the fracture and get rid of the patient's pain.